Breaking news to Fantasy Football Today and CBS Sports HQ. The Broncos have parted ways with coach Nathaniel Hackett. The team has issued a statement as well, so it's official. He is no longer the head coach of the Denver Broncos. First year with the team did not end well. 4-11 on the season. They just lost 51-14 to the Rams in a game where Russell Wilson threw three interceptions. And they have just been a mess offensively, really a mess across the board. I'm Jamie Eisenberg. That's Heath Cummings. That's Pete Prisco. So, Pete, let's start with the news here. Again, the Broncos parting ways with Nathaniel Hackett. I think we all expected this to come at the end of the season. But after that miserable performance on national television on Christmas, where Russell Wilson was a disaster, there was fighting on the sidelines between the offensive linemen and backup quarterback Brett Rippon. Was this just the inevitable? Yeah, and now you get a head start on the process. I mean, we thought they were gonna we thought they were gonna fire him, but now you fire him, you get a head start on the process, so it makes sense. When I when I looked at yesterday's game, my God, there were so many things that went wrong. And I watched it again on tape today. There are so many plays where the receivers are jumping up and down, angry at the quarterback, the offensive line, you saw the the irritation and the altercation on the sideline. And it's just blown up in his face. And quite frankly, I think they probably had to do it. And now is the right time to do it. We know there's only a few of these jobs in the world, 32 of them. And, and obviously, there's going to be a lot of people clamoring for this job. But you know when you take this job, you're taking it to work with Russell Wilson, who has been an absolute disaster since coming from Seattle. So how desirable is this job for an incoming head coach? Well, is this Russell Wilson who we think he is, or is this the Russell Wilson we're going to get going forward, or is this just one-year aberration? I, I haven't seen a guy regress like this in maybe forever. He's become a shell of himself. Even when he moves outside the pocket, and there was a play where he threw that interception, uh, Jalen Ramsey picked him off in the end zone. He gets outside the pocket. It's second and four. He could run for a first down. If not, keep your head up and throw to the sideline to Sutton for a big play. He does neither, and he gets picked off. He's jumpy in the pocket, and in fairness to him, his offensive line is terrible, but uh, this guy looks like a shell of himself, and so is it an attractive job? Probably not. You also don't have the first round pick. They gave that up as part of the deal for Russell Wilson. It would be the third overall pick right now going to Seattle. So again, you have to factor that in as well, Pete. Yeah, and so how do you replace you? Well, you can't replace him anyways. I mean, that's the bottom line. He's You're stuck with him. They made a bad deal. They paid him a boatload of money. And then now it looks like it's a terrible contract and a terrible trade. And, and so which coach wants to go there? The good news is they have new owners who are very wealthy. So you know they're going to be committed to building the thing for the long term. Uh, down the road, maybe you replace Russell Wilson in a couple years, but right now you're stuck with him. And if you think you can fix him, maybe it's an attractive job. But is he fixable? That's the multi-million dollar question. Keith, when it comes to the fantasy aspect of this for the rest of the season, Russell Wilson's not anybody we're trusting outside of maybe two quarterback or super flex leagues. But Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Greg Dolchitz, if he's healthy, the running backs there, week 17 against the Chiefs. We don't know who the interim head coach is yet, but who do you look at and say, I'm still going to buy into this guy in that matchup? Yeah, there was never any question with Jerry Judy. Hackett could have remained the coach the rest of the year. You're starting Jerry Judy. He's turned into a near star here in the second half of the season. Cortland Sutton, a number three wide receiver, and probably at the very best. I think if Dolchitz is okay, you start him. The one guy this might matter for would be Latavius Murray is that would be as if we see from the Broncos and you see this a lot of times when a coach gets fired there's that one week bump where everybody's got a little extra pep in their step if that's the case Latavius Murray actually sees 18 plus touches he could be a decent flex option all right so you still think it's going to be Murray in fact that they don't maybe go to Edmonds to see if he's the guy next season or just to see if they start to you know feature some of these young guys or even stick with Russell Wilson because maybe they just want to say okay you're done and we don't want to play you at this point it does not Russell Wilson doesn't seem like the type of guy it's to me saying I'm done I'm not going to play the rest of the way I would expect that Russell Wilson's going to go like Pete said they're stuck with him for next year they're probably stuck with him for the next two years you just got to hope that the next coach can figure him out Pete, when it comes to the, uh, you know, just the overall big picture for the Broncos, is George Payton's job safe after looking at that he was part of this decision to bring in Russell Wilson and to hire Nathaniel Hackett? Again, you mentioned new ownership group there. So are they just going to maybe clean house when this is all said and done? You know, look, if you're going to start all over again, it's hard to, to keep the general manager who hired the coach you just fired. So I would think that they will consider that. Uh, and again, uh, deep pockets, so it's not like they're going to get hit in a big way with the with the money because they can afford it but uh, I, you know I don't know that's a tough call Jamie because usually guys get two head coaches when you're a general manager usually 
But this is one year in, and he's firing his head coach. So I'm not so sure he is going to get another year. Well, this is the statement from owner and CEO Greg Penner, who has you know, said a lot about you know, thanking Nathaniel Hackett. But as part of the statement, he said, moving forward, we will carefully evaluate every aspect of our football operations and make whatever changes are necessary to restore this franchise's winning tradition. I will lead our head coaching search with support from our ownership group and George, whom I have confidence in as our general manager. As we begin the process of selecting our next head coach, we remain focused on playing competitive football to finish the season on a positive note. So it sounds like he is, his job might be safe, Pete. Yeah, you know what, though, Jamie? We've seen this play out where they go hire a coach and he comes in and say, say it was Sean Payton, just for the sake of the argument. And Sean said, look, I don't know George Payton. I don't want to work with him. And then they make a decision and out he goes. So I don't think he's safe at all. Uh, but I think right now he's going to aid them in the process. The problem is he might be hiring a guy who gets him out of there. Keith, in terms of the dynasty aspect for the Broncos, again, not knowing who the head coach is going to be, but where do we sit with Russell Wilson, who's in his early 30s, and then looking again at this receiving course? So we'll start with Russell Wilson. Is he even in the conversation to be a starter for dynasty men? No, he's a top 20 quarterback, and that's just because of what he's been for the 10 years before this. Like Pete said, we don't see this big of a drop-off unless a guy's done generally, but the fact that they're not going to waste another year with Hackens the head coach does give you some hope that we could get a bounce back season. In fact, I would expect a little bit better play from Russell Wilson next year. He's a high-end number two quarterback. All right, so we'll see what happens again, who the head coach is going to be. But the news is the Broncos moving on from Nathaniel Hackett. He has been fired as the head coach of the Broncos one season in 4-11, and and they've been absolutely miserable. We'll have much more on this on CBS Sports HQ throughout the day, so stay tuned to a lot more coverage on the Broncos firing Nathaniel Hackett. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.